It's opening night of the NFL, and we give you our best bet of the game, as well as let you know how you can win $1,000 this NFL season. And it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandstandBetters.com. The NFL season is finally upon us in our NFL betting contest where you could win a $1,000 grand prize is now live. Click the the, uh, link in the description below. Get signed up. It's absolutely free. We're giving away $1,000 and much, much more this NFL season from us here at Grandstand Betters. But listen, if you're new to Grandstand Betters, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our free picks all NFL season long. And while you're at it, go ahead and smash that like button because... The NFL season is finally upon us. So without further ado, let's dive in to the Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Bucks in the NFL opening kickoff game. The Cowboys are coming off a 6-10 year in which the Cowboys came uh, season came to a grinding halt after Dak Prescott had a leg injury in Week 5. They ended up finishing third in the NFC East, or least, whatever you might have called it last year, and they just had an awful season. As always, though, with America's team, there's high hopes in the air with some new faces on their team and Dak being a full go this season. uh, It looks like they are primed to make a run at the NFC East title. The biggest disaster for the Cowboys in recent years has been their awful defense. Now, to fix that, they did go out and hire new defensive coordinator Dan Quinn. I'm sorry, guys. Dan Quinn just came from the Falcons, where the last three years they've been in the bottom half of the league in defense. So I'm not sure that's quite the answer, but a new face, a new scheme, it might get them going. Still, we admit, they went into the draft solely focused on their defensive side of the ball, and they drafted Michael Parsons from Penn State University. It's a huge boost to their front seven, gives them a lot of speed at the linebacker position, and the guy should pair nicely with Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esk. Now, even with Quinn coordinating, this should be a much better group than last year. But will it give them immediate results? Maybe this year, but not probably in the game one uh, matchup against the Bucks. Now, their defense is still learning the scheme, still meshing on the field, And it's probably why the Bucs team total is at 31 and a half. That's also with a 44-year-old QB under the helm for the Bucs. Now, Dak is back, not without rumors all preseason about his throwing arm, which we all know about. Uh, But it looks like he's a full go for this game. However, uh, his mobility and his shoulder are things we are going to look at right off the bat to see if he can move, especially against a great pass rush in the Bucs. Now, before he got injured last season, Dak had an unreal first four games. He threw in three of his first four games over 445 yards. Mike McCarthy, with him back, will look for his team to be a little more well-balanced. However, you have to figure in this game that it's going to be hard to run against a rushing defense from last year that held its opponents to under 83 yards per game. With Dak, who's a gunslinger at times, they're going to have no problem airing it out to Gallup, CeeDee Lamb, Amari Cooper. Uh, And if that offense is unable to run the ball, uh, they will be able to air it against a Bucs defense that did give up about 250 yards passing per game. That was their weak spot last season. Speaking of those Bucs, they have basically their entire team coming back. That's how much stronger they're going to be. Elliott's over under rush yards... uh, is set at like 56.5. So no one is expecting to him have a great game. So Dak should be that gunslinger in this game. In all honesty, the only part of the game that the Bucs struggled with last year, as we mentioned, was the passing defense as they gave up about 250 yards passing. And despite receiving a lot of criticism throughout the 2020 season, they actually made the playoffs with an 11-5 record as a wildcard team and put things together right when they needed to to make a run in the playoffs behind Brady and that defense. They ended up winning the Super Bowl last year and embarrassing the Chiefs 31-9. Unreal. However, uh, let's just talk about some stats real quick. They have the 7th best offense in the league, 6th best defense in the league. 
as much as we know how great Tom Brady and company are, their defense is really the only reason they won the Lombardi Trophy last year. You know what's scary, though? Part of this is ridiculous. They re-signed 22 starters, and that's really not good for the rest of the league. We already mentioned they brought back the best run defense in the league, uh, but this team also brings back the best turnover margin and the best fourth quarter defense. In this matchup, they're going to just try to contain Elliott, force Prescott to scramble all night long, which is probably okay by the Cowboys. I, we think they're actually going to want to throw the ball. On the offensive side of the ball with the Bucks, they have a guy named Tom Brady who threw for over 4,600 yards and 40 touchdowns last year. It's hard to imagine. Check this out. Ronald Jones was 22 yards away from 1,000 rushing yards last season. That's unreal that Tom Brady can do all that and still they almost have a 1,000-yard rusher. Tom Brady still has the likes of uh, Goodwin, who actually might be out. We don't know. He's questionable. Evans and Gronk to throw to, and Antonio Brown, who, although Brown's working through a knee injury right now, but Arian said that this guy looks like the guy he was four years ago, so that's only going to help Brady out this year. All this game is going to come down to is if the Cowboys can move the ball on the Bucks' defense. In all honesty, it's, it's really hard to tell how these teams are going to come out after only playing three preseason games and having a very limited number of uh, snaps for the first team. One thing's for certain, though. Brady always wants to prove he's the best QB in the league, and the Cowboys' defense is always awful. So the Bucks are going to put up points in this game. That is certain. But the Cowboys, they have a chip on their shoulder from the past two seasons of disappointment, especially with all the injuries they had to incur. The spread opened minus six to the Bucks in this game, shot all the way up to, I think, nine, nine and a half at some spots. Now it's sitting right around minus eight, about with 24 hours left before game time, and the over-under is staying comfortably at around 52. We think this is going to actually be a shootout. The Cowboys are going to sling the ball and do it quickly out of Dak's hands and let his speedsters uh, get that ball and run with it. One thing Dak has is very quick release, and I know the Bucks' rush defense and pass defense are pretty lethal, but Dak can scramble and get that ball out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb, and those guys, they can run for a long time in that secondary. So this is a game that we would normally never bet. It's the first game, there's too many intangibles, but we thought we would just throw out kind of a half unit bet here on opening night, just because there's so many unknowns. Uh, there's actually some names on COVID list. I think actually Martin's not playing for Dallas, so that offensive line is not even going to be starting uh, healthy in game one. So we are going to look at the shootout. We're going to look at the Cowboys being able to put up enough points and the Bucks just destroying that Cowboys defense. So take the Tampa Bay Bucks, Cowboys over 52 for the game. Now listen, Grandstand Betters is going to be doing a live play-by-play, -play, live betting feed, live stream uh, on Thursday at 8.15. So guys, check us out. Come on in for some play-by-play -play if you don't want to listen to those announcers. We'll also talk a little bit about betting, sports, and, and everything. So come hang out with Grandstand Betters for our live stream for opening night. As always, though, sit back, relax. Bucks, Cowboys, over 52. Enjoy opening night in the NFL, and we'll see you Thursday night.